Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about how to make your email address readily available in any application in a Windows environment to be pasted in without having to type the entire email address. Much of the time we have to enter our entire email address into websites such as uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, our bank account, our credit card account, and just to log on to your own email account. And so instead of having to type your entire email address, we can do a quick keystroke combination and paste your email address into anywhere you'd like to within a Windows environment. And so it's very easy to do. Anybody can do it. We'll go through the steps right now. They're very simple. Stay, stay with me and we'll get through it. And I hope you like it. Okay, to get started, we're going to uh, just right click over the desktop and click New, and then click Text Document. And I'm going to call this Email Address and press Enter. Now, this is an empty text document. I'm going to press Enter again to open it in Notepad. And the only thing I'm going to type into this is my email address. This is a very long email address at email.com. Of course, that is just made up. And I'm going to click File, Save, and I'm going to close it. All right. So here is my first thing that I did. I created a text document that only contains my email address, nothing else. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to create another text document. Right click, say new, down to text document. And this I am going to call paste email. You can call this anything you want. I'll explain that a little more in detail in a few minutes. All right. This is another empty text document and this is where all the magic happens. I just press enter to open it again paste email and in this you are going to um, type in a command um, before we do that I am going to move this first email address I'm going to move it into any folder um, I'm only doing it so that um, I don't clutter up my desktop so um, I have created it a folder called temp right in my root C drive. It's C temp. So email address, I'm going to right click and drag over to temp and move here. Now we just have to know and understand where this is, the path of this file. You could leave it on your desktop. It's all fine. Um, I'll leave this open for a second. Now we're left with this, which we're editing, and this is where we're going to type a command and I'll go through the command in detail in a minute. So we're going to type C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash cmd.exe space. That space is important. Forward slash K space clip. C L I P space the less than symbol space and then we're going to type the location of that email address file that we just made C colon backslash temp folder backslash and I called it email address dot txt oops txt and I'm going to press enter to go to the next line and I'm just going to type C colon backslash exit. Now that I've typed C colon backslash exit, this script is finished. I will explain this script a little later, but we'll get the task completed first. So now I'm going to click file save. Now this is the script file that's going to get executed, so I'm just going to close it. And once again, I'm going to move this file to the same location as my email address text file. By right-clicking, dragging, 
and clicking move here. As you can see, it's moved from here to here. Now I'm going to change this file from a text file to a batch file. Um, the file extension is going to be .bat instead of .txt. So I'm going to copy, right click, and copy. I'm going to click anywhere here. And I'm going to right click and paste. And here is the copied file. I'm going to rename this. Um, I'm going to give it the same file name, um, but the extension I'm going to change from txt to .bat. I'm going to press enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes to that. You'll see the icon here for a change a little. Now, if you don't see the file extensions, it's very important that you uh, check for one um, setting in your Windows. And to do that, you press the Windows button and just start to type folder. F O L D E R. And you see folder options here. Click folder options. When you get the folder options dialog box up, click on view. And down here, this option right here, hide extensions for known file types. Make sure that this is not checked. Make sure it is not checked. Then you click apply and OK. When that is not checked, you see the file extensions. And when you see them, you have the ability to change them. Now, once you've changed this file, to uh, bat.bat, .bat, which is short for batch. Right click and drag onto the desktop. And this is important. It must be on the desktop. So you're going to create a shortcut here that's going to execute this batch file. You can rename this shortcut anything you like. Right click, rename, and I'm going to call it paste. It could be anything you want. Paste email. Okay. Now, here's another very important thing. We're going to configure this shortcut so that you can execute it with keystrokes. And to do that, right click over the shortcut and go down to properties. Now, here are the properties for that shortcut. Right here, it says shortcut key none. If you click it, you can't do anything. You can't select it. You can't delete it. So here's what you do. You just press one key. And in my case, I'm going to press Z. And you'll notice what happens. It automatically put in Control and Alt. So the key combination is going to be Control, Alt, Z. All at the same time. Click Apply. Then click OK. Now, anywhere I am, I can press Control Alt C and you'll see it ran the batch file. And then I can click anywhere in Windows, any application, press Control V and it will paste my email in. Let's go and I want to explain the meaning of that shortcut uh, so that you understand. Uh, what to do with it if you don't have the same folder structure, if you put your file in a different location, if you left it on your desktop, what you would do so that you can complete this without making any mistakes. Just to touch on one thing really quickly, um, in business environments, um, the IT and um, your network security professional will block the execution of batch files because to be quite honest, some batch files can be used to spread viruses and there are a lot of bad people out there. And so it's good to have control over the execution of files such as these. So if you're finding that um, you're being blocked from running a batch file, ask your IT guy, whoever's in charge of your network, just to allow permission to run this very one simple file. And if they're not sure what it is, just tell them to watch this video, it's very simple. And I'm going to explain right now exactly what the contents of the, the batch file is so that it could be allowed to run it. So it, I just broke it into three sections really quickly here. This whole section here, the whole thing, is used to just open the terminal window, the black window that opens up on your desktop. Now that basically opens and says, I'm ready to execute a command. 
This portion right here, this is known simply as a switch. Sometimes it's referred to as a flag, but I'm going to refer to it as a switch. This simply means execute the rest of the line of code and move on to the next line. It's very simple, nothing to it. This portion is really the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. This is really just stating, copy to the clipboard, the contents of this file. Obviously that's the file name and this is the location. That's all it means. And so to finish off the batch file we just have at the exit command which really just closes the terminal window and you're finished with the batch file and your email address is put onto the clipboard and it's available for you to use. So um, that's it. There's really very little to it. Um, let's wrap it up. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. I just want to throw out a challenge for you. Um, maybe you could get the contents of another text file, give it another name and another um, hotkey combination that you can use for other things. Make it something that you have to repetitively do but it's going to save you a lot of time by using a, a simple keystroke to uh, paste it in to wherever you might need it. So, make that happen. Comment on it down below. Please subscribe to the channel uh, to be automatically notified of upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and take care.